Welcome to Wall Street Bets DD, where I read some of the most popular DD of the week in my action movie narrator voice. This is not financial advice. This is not even my post. This is just for entertainment purposes only. Since I know you apes can't read, I decided to read for you. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the shit show. Oh, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, or else I'm telling your wife's boyfriend to cut you out of the will. Post by DJIA1929. Tilray, July 28, 2021, Financial Highlights 2021 Fiscal 4th Quarter 1, Net Revenue Increased 25% to $142.2 million during the 4th quarter from $113.5 million in the prior year quarter. The increase was driven by 36% growth in net cannabis revenue to $53.7 million, which included four weeks of contribution from Legacy Tilray, a 10% decline in distribution revenue. Net beverage alcohol revenue of $15.9 million following our Sweetwater acquisition on November 25, 2020, and wellness revenue of $5.8 million from Manitoba Harvest. Net income of $33.6 million during the fourth quarter compared to net loss of $84.3 million in the prior year quarter. Adjusted EBI TDI increased 285% to $12.3 million during the fourth quarter from $3.2 million in the prior year quarter marking the ninth consecutive quarter of positive adjusted EBI TDI. Gross profit decreased 19% to $22.5 million during the fourth quarter from $27.8 million in the prior year quarter. Included in gross profit was a one-time inventory valuation adjustment of $19.9 million resulting from excess inventory quantities upon the business combination with Afria. Adjusted gross profit, excluding inventory valuation adjustment, increased 53% to $42.4 million during the fourth quarter from $27.8 million in the prior year quarter. Quarter. Free cash flow increased 112% to $3.3 million in the fourth quarter from $2.83 million in the prior year quarter. Financial highlights 2021 fiscal year. Net revenue increased 27% to $513.1 million during 2021 from $405.3 million in 2020. The increase was driven by 55% growth in net cannabis revenue to $201.4 million, which included four weeks of contribution from Legacy to 1% growth in distribution revenue to $277.3 million. Net beverage alcohol revenue of $28.6 million following our Sweetwater acquisition on November 25, 2020, and wellness revenue of $5.8 million from Manitoba Harvest due to our Tilray reverse acquisition on April 30, 2021. Net loss of $336 million in 2021 compared to net loss of $100.8 million in 2020 was driven by $63.6 million of transaction costs related to out-of-pocket fees to consummate our business combinations and $170.5 million of non-cash unrealized loss on our convertible debentures. Adjusted EBI TDI increased 598% to $40.8 million in 2021 from $5.8 million in 2020. Gross profit increased 28% to $123.2 million during 2021 from $96.1 million in the prior year. Included in gross profit was a one-time inventory valuation adjustment of $19.9 million in Q4 results from excess inventory quantities upon the business combination with Afria. Adjusted gross profit, excluding inventory valuation adjustment, increased 50% to $143.9 million in 2021 from $96.1 million in 2020. Ended the year with a strong balance sheet and liquidity, including cash and cash equivalents of $488.5 million. Let's see what some of the comments have to say, shall we? Tilray to the moon. All aboard the MJ Express. I need it. Bag holding bigly over here. Heavy bags should be getting lighter soon. Me too, man. Me too. My 200 shares and options are going to be happy today. My nearly 10k shares stopped crying. It was a rough fucking week for you too. Good lord. 10k. I feel better with my 300. Has the company been reaching out to any of you for a proxy vote? They're wanting to raise capital through a dilution round. It's a little more subtle. They're asking for the option to dilute should the opportunity present to act on another merger. They're not asking to just dump shares right now, but they could, not just reaching out. They left voicemails, mailed multiple flyers and sent emails, even after I voted.
Starbucks price to sale is 7 CEO says $4 billion in sales by 2024 because it's a growth industry. Price to sales can be as high as 10 so $40 billion market cap we can grow to. They also said $1 billion in sales by 2020 so take everything with a grain of salt. Bags are still heavy. Greetings from $30 buy-in. Have you averaged down while it's been sub-20? My first buy was at 44. Be glad that you didn't get in at 60. LOL. Shit and I thought my $24 bags were heavy. Average down a little bit sub $20 and have been selling CCs on the spikes for some juicy premium. But damn, this trading in the teens is rough. I averaged down to mid-teens and was out at the last 20 then back in with the lows. Boss status. Wish I could say the same. It was dumb to buy on the rise but I was averaging and so didn't get too burned on the initial buy. Be careful selling CCs below your cost average. Getting your shares called away at a loss ain't fun. What strike prices do you sell at? Only at prices I'm willing to get assigned on. Usually $22, $28 is where I'd sell. The way I see it is I'm okay being assigned for a $200 loss per 100 shares if I've already made more than that an accumulated premium. No limit up. $20 of extra inventory from the buyout seems legit really. $420 of extra inventory. $420,000.69. If you enjoyed this video be sure to like, comment, and subscribe or else you will be forced to trade on Robinhood for the rest of your life.